What's up guys, Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews, and unfortunately this isn't the video I wanted to make about Metabo HPT. So if you remember back you know, a couple months ago with Metapo HPT, they had that free 8 amp hour battery rebate. And basically what you did was you can buy any tool pretty much from anywhere from Metapo HPT as long as they're a authorized retailer like this subcompact drill here, you got a free 8 amp hour battery. Pretty cool. A lot of people took advantage of that. I think I got like five or six batteries. It was actually really awesome. I've now got a bunch of multi-volt uh, tools, multi-volt batteries. Got a ton of tools in Metabo HPT's battery platform now. It's been fantastic. However, though, of course, with any brand, you're gonna get batteries and tools that you know might go bad. But that's what the warranty is for. That's really not a big deal, and that's just how life goes. So I've got one battery here um, with that rebate, and unfortunately, um, it's very common with larger battery packs, like you know, five amp hour and above, where what happens is, is sometimes the cells inside become unbalanced. And so what can happen is when you charge the battery fully, you'll sometimes pull off the charger and it'll only show two, maybe three bars showing when you pull off the charger. And basically, now the charger can't charge that battery effectively anymore, and this battery will still, of course, work, but it's only gonna run at maybe 50 to 70% capacity now. It's basically a defective battery at that point. So, I take it to a Metabo HPT service center. So, as you can see by this map here, I am right in central Orlando, and there's not a service center really close by. Um, the nearest one is going to be quite far north of Orlando, and the next one for that is going to be up in Ocala. So even that nearest one to me is going to be at least an hour and a half, two hour round trip to get to. The one that's even farther north up there in Ocala is going to be nearly a three and a half hour round trip. So going to a service center really isn't a good option for me. So what I decided to do was on Monday, I called in and kind of figured out how I need to do this warranty. Maybe it's just as simple as maybe sending some photos to them. Maybe they want to send the battery back to them. Them, no big deal. So I spent about an hour on hold initially and the service center, or the, the service phone number, is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. They're also located in Georgia, just one state above me. So I'm in the same time zone. I called around 9 a.m. Um, I spent about an hour on hold. I tried the other number as well too. It was weird because it kept saying I was position number one in the queue, but no one ever answered. Um, so that was kind of the Monday there. Um, I did, however, send in one of those, basically the forms on their website, said, hey, if I got an RMA or I need a warranty, you can fill out this form, they'll get back to you within 24 hours. So I expected a response back probably on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, um, I did not get a response back from them via email for that form. Um, what I did was I also called again kind of the same story on Tuesday, calling in, waited on hold forever. Now I did get to talk to someone finally on Tuesday, which was awesome. However, though, it really didn't tell me anything. I basically said, um, hey, I've got a battery I need covered under warranty. And she transferred me to another department. I spent another 30 minutes on hold and it hung up on me. So that's my Tuesday, unfortunately. Um, now, Wednesday rolls around. Um, I was getting a little frustrated on Wednesday, so what I did was I reached out to their Instagram. I followed their Instagram. Now, I did reach out with my personal Instagram, not, you know, Ultimate Tool Reviews Instagram. I don't want this to be a biased, you know, whole thing here. I want this to just be me, regular guy, and a Tabo HPT. So I reached out with my regular Instagram. They did respond to me actually first thing in the morning, which was awesome. However, though, while I was checking my Instagram, I had my email up on my computer and I just noticed I got an email from Metabo HPT saying, hey, yeah, we got your email. Here's what we need for that warranty. I'm like, okay, sweet. So I didn't want to waste, you know, the social media people's time. I just said, hey, I'm all set. I got an email back from customer service. Thank you. So what I did was I responded back to Metabo HPT on Wednesday with the information that they requested. I wasn't really sure how the rebate warranty would work. Do I need to just have you know, my rebate, you know, confirmation email? and some photos of the battery. So that's what I sent to them. And I never heard back anything on Thursday, never heard back anything today on Friday yet either. Um, so what I did was I called again Thursday because um, I didn't hear anything back on Thursday. Uh, same story, unfortunately, again. I waited, you know, I think it's like 30 or 45 minutes on hold again. Um, gave up, I didn't want to keep waiting on hold there forever. Um, I called today around 3 p.m. and I got someone right away. There was no hold time. I was like, awesome. Now, the lady on the phone today was super helpful. Um, I got to ask her a few questions about, hey, what do I do about this? She said, you know, of course, for a battery, easiest way to do is email us. I'm like, oh no. Um, so what I did was I sent out a third email now um, with some more information. I included a receipt that I got from where I actually bought 
uh, my Metabo HPT tool. I got it from Amazon. I include that receipt. I included the um, corresponding um, uh, rebate form. I included in the two photos as well too. And then after that, after I included all that in my email, I also asked her about, hey, if I got a tool, lifetime warranty, what do I do with that? She said, of course, your best option is to take it to a service center. I explained that, you know, service center are a bit too far for me. But she said, you can also ship it to our service center address here in Georgia. So if you go to Metabo HPT's website, they only have that address listed there in Georgia. That's where you can send your tools to. Now, if you are gonna do that, which if I do get a tool that breaks, that's probably what I'm gonna do, uh, make sure you, of course, include your name, you know, address, phone number, email, and of course, a proof of purchase like a receipt. That's always very important to have. So today, um, I am now a couple of calls in. I'm a couple emails in. Uh, I still have not gotten, you know, an exact, you know, response to my warranty. It's not approved or denied or anything yet. So this is now five days, basically, you know, a whole work week here of trying to just get one battery RMA. So not looking great from a top HPT here. This has been a huge pain. Um, I'm probably between hold time emails about four hours now, I would say is my total time invested into getting one battery like this replaced under warranty. And I've only had this battery for a few months now, not been very long. Kind of disappointing in Metabo right now. It's not been great. Um, now for comparison, I've had plenty of Makita, Milwaukee, and DeWalt RMAs. Um, they've all been pretty smooth and flawless. I've had a few minor bumps with you know, Milwaukee. Not pick up the phone, you know, I've had a number of times where the phone call just becomes dropped after a number of times with Milwaukee. Um, and the Makita Milwaukee service center is only about 20 minutes from my house, so it's rather convenient, and I kind of work down that way anyways, so I can get there pretty frequently. Uh, DeWalt service center is a little bit farther away, but DeWalt's always been awesome. They've always just acquired maybe like a receipt and let us send out a new tool. It's never been an issue for DeWalt. Um, absolutely love Makita Milwaukee and DeWalt service. It's been fantastic. So I did this, you know, just, I didn't want to necessarily do this type of video, but I just wanted to, you know, do something that can educate you guys um, for Batabo HPT's warranty. This is, I, I didn't, you know, claim I'm with, you know, YouTuber or reviewer for tools or anything. I'm just coming at them as a regular guy with a tool that needs a warranty repair. Um, so that's kind of just the unbiased, basically warranty story I've got for you. Uh, if you've got a warranty story from Batabo HPT, I would love to hear in the comments below. Um, I gave them a number of chances. I'm trying to hope this isn't like a, you know, a, a fluke here that, oh, you know, I just got them at a bad time. But I have now tried every day this week, five days in a row, just to get a simple battery arm made. And I am still at basically square zero here. I have not gotten anywhere with it at all. No approval, no denials. I have not heard back from one person more than literally the first contact we have with them so far. So it's been rather disappointing from a Tabo HPT. And there is no physical service centers anywhere near me, even though I'm in a rather large city of Orlando here. They're all very far north of Orlando. There's nothing anywhere nearby. So that's kind of where I'm at, guys. But if you got any stories for me, I would love to hear them. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.